I think uh, that this is un an unnecessary and unwise action uh, that is truly unworthy uh, of this country. And I think that uh, what's happened here is another case of the administration's uh, putting its head in the sand on the issue of acid rain. But the Justice Department says its ruling of the films is not to be construed as any form of censorship or intimidation. However, the American Civil Liberties Union says the political propaganda label has a chilling effect on First Amendment rights, and it plans to challenge it in court. Drew Scott, Independent Network News, Washington. Independent Network News, brought to you by W.R. Grace, by Canon Copiers, and by Colombian Coffee. A bit of a dither ever since, wondering what to wear. With alarming speed, America's economy has slowed down. We've slowed down investment in factories, slowed down spending on research. At W.R. Grace, we think short-term thinking is largely to blame. American business must make long-term commitments to new equipment, new ideas, quickly. For everyone, it will be a welcome change of pace. At W.R. Grace, we want all of us to stay one step ahead of a changing world. These days, people are holding on to copiers that have seen better days, or pumping hope into rebuilds to save money. But now, for just $28.95, Canon gives you the one touch more. Starts instantly, makes 12 copies a minute on plain paper, reduces, enlarges, yet uses far less energy than other copiers its size. So why blow it? Get Canon's one touch more, NP125, for just $28.95. For information, call toll-free. They don't make them like Rita anymore, or Ava, or Lana, or Liz, because they're the last of the love goddesses. An exclusive five-part series starting in this Sunday's Daily News. Read about their lives, their movies, their 22 husbands. Then play for $250,000, like $50,000 zingo winner Mark Zawicki. Big story winner Walter Kirby and George Flack, who won a new stereo. Kenny Rogers holds them while MASH folds them in an exclusive from Sing Sing, what really happened in B-Block. So play for $250,000 and read the last of the love goddesses in Sunday's Daily News. The standing quarter mile. This machine is about to attack it. A motorcycle that can turn 65 cubic inches into an incredible amount of horsepower. The Honda B65 Magna. It's about to become the world's fastest production motorcycle. The Labor Department has released January's inflation figures, and they show consumer prices were up by only two-tenths of a percent. That's an annual inflation rate of 2.1 percent. Medical care showed the steepest increase, jumping eight-tenths of a percent. Food prices were barely changed, up a tenth of a percent. Housing costs jumped 0.5 percent. There was a change in the way housing costs were computed, placing more emphasis on rentals. But those increases were offset by a drop in gasoline prices of 3.3% and a decrease in fuel oil prices of 3.8%. The administration was pleased with the numbers. It really is very gratifying news. It means that the increases in wages and prices are no longer being eaten up by inflation, but actually represent a significant increase in the real standard of living, real spendable incomes of American families. Some analysts expect this year to be equal to or lower than last year's 3.9 percent. Bill. In these tough times, a lot of Americans are homeless, so now a plan to provide emergency housing with the new partnership arrangement between government and private enterprise and the nation's religious organizations. The Salvation Army held a press conference to reveal the blueprint, and under this plan, the Defense Department will be contacting the mayors of American cities with over 50,000 population to discuss the use of local military facilities. The emergency housing plan will be coordinated by a White House agency. Real estate interests are providing the seed money 
2020, and future funding will come from business interests with cooperation from religious organizations. And HUD has ordered its offices to put the homeless at the top of its priority list for public housing. President Reagan says he'll do everything he can to win confirmation of Kenneth Edelman as arms control chief. The president criticized the Senate Foreign Relations Committee for sending the nomination to the floor with an unfavorable recommendation. Mr. Reagan made his remarks at a question and answer session with a group of high school students where one girl asked about the Edelman controversy. Well, I think that the Senate, very frankly, the Senate committee is being very irresponsible and I think that this is pretty much party line vote in politics. Mr. Edelman, He's a young man, and there's nothing against that. Edelman faces the threat of a filibuster when his nomination reaches the Senate floor in mid-March. Two years ago, an American freelance journalist disappeared while on assignment in El Salvador. With pressure and $10,000, John Sullivan's family brought him home. Janet Rose reports. Today is the saddest day of my life. After a very frustrating two years search for my son, we finally have an answer, not the answer we wanted, but an answer. The Sullivans say they used to be patriotic, but the more than two year search for John has led them to feel differently. What does it take to stop what is going on in that country? How many more people have to die? Johnny's death was absolutely senseless and brutal. An anonymous letter, the result of ads they placed in local Salvadoran papers, led them to a site where they heard that John's body had been killed and dumped. With the help of New York medical examiner Dr. Frederick Zugaby and their local congressman Robert Torricelli, finally, last Saturday, John Sullivan's remains were returned to the family. The United States government did not bring John Sullivan home. The Sullivan family brought John Sullivan home. In the uh, several days that I spent in El Salvador, I found the embassy to be uh, courteous, uh, helped me with my arrangements, but uh, clearly not terribly interesting. Dr. Zugaby spent the past week examining the remains. The head and hands were missing, and he believes Sullivan was mutilated by some type of explosive device. Extensive anthropological studies confirmed that the age, sex, race, and height were all completely consistent with the age, sex, race, and height of John Sullivan. The Reagan administration supports the Salvadorian government, saying it is making progress in the human rights area. Next week, Congress will hold hearings to further determine that. Janet Rose, Independent Network News. Be out. Not with that congested cough. You look drained. I feel drained. Take Formula 44D. You'll feel like your congested cough is being drained away. Sure. It's the only leading formula strong enough to relieve your cough and congestion. It does have a strong cough suppressant. And two decongestants. Well? Thanks to Formula 44D. Your day didn't go down the drain. Vicks Formula 44D drains your congested cough so it won't drain you. In the region of Boyacá in 